ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुरली सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर बाप दादा मधु वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एस एस ऑफ द मुरली स्वेट चिल्ड्रन इन ऑर्डर टू क्लेम एन अनलिमिटेड इन स्कॉलरशिप practice remembering the one father alone and no one else so one but none then and then we can get the scholarship and that is also unlimited scholarship question <clears throat> what are the reasons for not experiencing happiness even after belonging to the father we all are the case but still why we are not experiencing happiness <clears throat> answer number 1 the full knowledge doesn't remain in your intellects no trickling of knowledge drop by drop always the intellect number 2 you don't you do not remember the father accurately as he is what he is because you don't remember baba maya deceives you we are not remembering baba we are keeping our mind empty an empty mind devil's workshop so maya deceives this is why there is an happiness <clears throat> you children should have intoxication in your intellects that the father is making you into the masters of the world and you will then constantly have enthusiasm and happy so key to the you can say happiness is intoxication with intoxication we have aim and objective because of aim and objective we have intoxication and because of intoxication we must have enthusiasm and happiness so intoxication is important become full of father's inheritance of purity happiness and peace and you will remain happy baba has come <coughs> to give purity peace and happiness purity is the mother of peace and prosperity in prosperity means happiness <coughs> so baba says with that we will remain happy om shanti you children know what we know the meaning of om shanti very well i am a soul and this is my body this is the meaning of om shanti i am a soul means what kind of soul i am a peaceful soul i am not this body and this is my body i am separate from body so baba is narrating today in the murli difference between body and soul remember this very well god that is the father of souls is teaching us who is teaching supreme almighty authority have you ever heard this before everybody says god will come make a make magic and transform the world nobody knows that god will come and teach us to become lakshmi and narayan so baba says have you ever heard before those people think that sri krishna teaches them however he has name and form <coughs> the one who is teaching you he is the incorporeal father souls listen to the supreme soul while he speaks this is something new so here baba is teaching to the soul not to the body destruction is definitely going to take place no you can say chance that to stop the destructions one he is of those who have non living intellects at the time of destruction and the other is of those who have loving intellect at the time of destruction so on the two kind of this you can say intellects non living non loving and loving previously you two used to say that god is omnipresent and that he is in the pebbles and stones you have to understand all of these things very well it is explained what is explained to you that souls are imperishable and that bodies are perishable a soul doesn't increase or decrease in size a soul is very tiny 
such a tiny soul takes 84 births and plays his whole part. Very, very tiny. <clears throat> a soul makes his body function. Without soul, body cannot function. The highest one, high father is teaching you and so you also receive high status. As the teacher, so the student will become. A doctor is teaching to become a doctor. Lawyer is teaching to become a lawyer. So the highest one, high father is teaching us to receive the high status that is deity. It is soul that study and receive a status, not the body. A soul cannot be seen. Many people try to see how soul enters and leaves a body, but they can't tell how. Even if someone were to see the soul, he would not able to understand anything, even after seeing the soul, because they have no knowledge of the soul. You understand that it is the soul that resides in a body. Souls are separate from their human bodies. Again, Baba is narrating the difference between soul and the body. Souls do not become bigger or smaller. Human body, bodies become big from small. So image of the soul cannot be changed. It is a point of light or light. Image of the body changes from child to adolescence to mature to old. So bodies become, you can say, big from small. It is soul that become pure and impure, and it is soul that call out to the father. Oh, Baba, the one who makes impure souls pure come. What kind of Baba? One who makes impure souls pure, that is purified, come. It is also explained to you that all souls are brides at Sitas and that he is the bridegroom that is Rama. Not the silver is the Rama. He is the bridegroom all of souls at Sitas. Those people then say that all are bridegrooms. <clears throat> Why? They say souls are God is omnipresent. It is not possible for the bridegroom to enter anyone because of having that wrong knowledge in their intellects, they continue to fall. Why they are falling down? Why we were falling down? Because no knowledge, no understanding, no connection. Because that they insult him a lot. They defame him and now and commit a lot of sin. Defaming God is also one kind of sin because we are body conscious. And whatever we are doing in body consciousness, all are sin. So it is also a sin. <clears throat> they have defamed the father so much. Would children ever defame their father? However, nowadays, because children are spoiled, they begin to insult their fathers. That one is the unlimited father. It is soul that defame the unlimited father. Baba, you incarnate in a crocodile and a fish. How we insult, insulted unlimited father that we talk, called and told him that incarnate in a crocodile and a fish. They have also defamed Sri Krishna by saying that he abducted queens and stole butter. Why should he used to steal a butter? He is the prince. No need of stealing anything. Their intellects have become so tamopradhan. Why they are telling? Because intellect has become so tamopradhan. The father says, <clears throat> I come and show you a very easy way to become pure. The father alone is the purifier, the almighty authority. No human being can purify other human being or anybody, even any matter because they are themselves impure. How they can purify others? So Baba says, they cannot purify anybody. Only the Father, Almighty Authority, purify others. Just as sages and holy men, etc., are said to be authorities of the scriptures. So Sankaracharya would also be said to be an authority of the Vedas and scriptures. 
they have so much pomp, so many bhashams written by Sankaracharya, thousand and thousand. So they have too much ego. Sivacharya doesn't have any pomp. I was very simple, coming in a vicious world, vicious body, and very, very simple, no show. He doesn't have a group of followers with him. Sankaracharya, group of followers. They are even carrying their, you can say, seat of made up of silvers. Sankaracharya will not sit without the Singhasan, that is the throne of silver. So their followers are following him. That one sits here and speaks the essence of the Vedas and scriptures to you. Baba, very simple coming in vicious world, vicious body, and explaining all the essence. If Shri Baba were to show his pomp, then before that, there would have to be a pomp of Brahma, but no, <clears throat> Brahma is very, very simple. The father says, I am the servant of you children. The father enters this one and explains to you children, children, you have become impure. You became pure, you became pure and then became impure during 84 births cycle. Later, this one's history and geography will repeat. This one's me, Dadas, not Baba. He is the one who has gone through 84 births. He has shown the way to become Sato Pradhan. So first Brahma becomes Sato Pradhan. And following him, we children also become Sato Pradhan. The father alone is the almighty authority. Except him, nobody is called the almighty authority. Nobody is called the ocean of knowledge, ocean of power, ocean of virtues. Nobody. He explains to you the essence of all the Vedas and scriptures through Brahma because he has no body. They have portrayed Brahma with scriptures in the pictures. But in fact, there is no questions of scriptures, etc. Because Baba is sitting in the body of Dada Brahma, naming him Brahma. So no question of you can say reading scriptures or anything. Neither does Baba have scriptures, nor does this one have scriptures. And you don't have any scriptures either. We are not reading scriptures. Dada is not reading the scriptures. Baba is not telling any scriptures. So no question of scripture here. That one tells you new things all the time. Oh, Shri Baba, <clears throat> without anything. You know what we know, that all the scriptures belong to the path of devotion. I do not relate scriptures. Baba is not reading the scriptures. I speak to you orally. He is not writing anything. He is not relating any scripture. Means giving a reference only giving the essence of all the scriptures orally. I teach you Raj Yoga, which is then named the Gita on the path of devotion. The name of the Raj Yoga is Gita, because Raj Yoga is covered in the Gita itself. Do I or you have a Gita, etc.? This is a study. There is no question of verses, etc., sloka, verses, etc. I teach you children and I will continue to teach you identically every cycle. No change. I explain a, such easy things. What is that? Consider yourself to be souls. Your bodies will turn to dust. Body is not immortal. Soul is immortal. Souls are imperishable, whereas bodies are repeatedly being burned. <coughs> A soul sheds one body and takes another. The father says, what he says, I only come once. People celebrate Shivratri, but it should in fact be called Shiv Jayanti. However, calling it Jayanti would mean taking birth through mother's wombs. Jayanti means birthday. Birthday means taking birth through home of the mother. This is why they call it Shivratri. They search for me during the night of the copper and iron ages. They say, what they say, he is omnipresent. We were also saying same thing. Therefore, he is in you too. So, Baba says, if omnipresent, then you too. So, why do you then stumble around? Why we are looking for God around if he is inside us? 
from being deities, it is as though you have completely become the devilish completely. Do deities drink alcohol? Those same souls fell, so they began to drink alcohol, etc. Deity souls fall down, go on the path of, you can say, devotion and become vicious. So they are drinking alcohol, eating non veggies fishes, eggs, alcohol, so, sorry, tambak, tobacco, so many things. The father says, now this old world is definitely going to be destroyed. In the old world, there are innumerable religions, whereas in the new world, there is just the one religion, no other religion, no one. only one religion. People say that there are still 40,000 religions, 40,000 years of the Iron Age left, and more than 4,000 religions. That is called extreme darkness. When the sun of knowledge rises, the darkness of ignorance is dispelled. <clears throat> People have a lot of ignorance. When the father, the son of knowledge, the ocean of knowledge comes, your ignorance of the path of devotion ends. You become pure by continuing to remember the father, the alloy is removed. This is the fire of yoga. The fire of lust makes you ugly, whereas the fire of yoga, that is the remembrance of Shiva Baba, makes you beautiful. They have named Sri Krishna. Shama Sundar, the ugly and beautiful one, but they don't understand the meaning of that. The father comes and explains its meaning to you. First of all, they are so beautiful in the golden age. Souls are pure and beautiful, and so they receive pure and beautiful bodies. There, all the wealth and property and everything else are new. That new land then becomes old. This old world is now definitely going to be destroyed. A lot of preparations are being made for that. The people of Bharat do not understand as much as those people do that they have, sorry, as much those people do that they are destroying their own clan. Papa Bharat of people will not understand why, because they are Tamapradhan. Why? The people of other world, that is Western world, they will understand that we are destroying our own clan. They know what is the effect of atom bomb, hydrogen bomb, missiles, everything they know. That they are destroying their own self. They feel that someone is inspiring them to bring about their own destruction through science. They also feel, Eastern world will not feel because they lose all kind of consciousness. While those people are still Raja Pradhan, so they will feel everything. You also understand that 3000 years before Christ, there was paradise. So, cycle 5000, why? Approximate 2000 concept, Christ has come before and 3000 before him, so total 5000. It used to be the kingdom of those gods and goddesses. <clears throat> Bharat is an ancient land. Lakshmi and Narayan become like that by studying this Raj Yoga. How they become Lakshmi and Narayan by Raj Yoga. Only the father can teach this Raj Yoga. Sannyasis cannot teach it. Nowadays there is so much cheating, so much cheating. They go abroad and say that they are teaching the ancient yoga of Bharat. Then they say you can eat egg, eggs, drink alcohol, etc. You can do anything. What yoga? So many yogas. So they are cheating by versus basically. Because they don't know what is the true yoga. Even the Patanjali yoga, eight steps of yoga, they are not teaching. Only two steps they are teaching. That is asana and pranayam. So they don't even tell that don't eat, don't drink alcohol, which is yam and niyam in Patanjali Raj. And above five steps, sorry, four steps of Patan, Patanjali Raj Yoga, they are not teaching at all. So Baba says, they become also Tamo Pradhan, they are cheating others in the name of Raj Yoga. <clears throat> they go abroad and say that they are teaching the ancient Raj Yoga Bharat, they, then they say, eat anything. He, how could they teach Raj Yoga? How could they make human beings into deities? They are themselves are not deities or supreme authority, how they can transform. 
you are now once again establishing heaven. There is no other religion there. The father says hell is definitely going to be destroyed. It is a law of the nature. Anything become old has to become new. No choice has to go through the cycle of, you can say, renewal. Otherwise, they will not become like that. Those who have come here will definitely go to heaven. If they hear even a little of Shiv Baba knowledge, Shiv Baba's knowledge, they will definitely go to heaven. Then however much they study and remember the father, they will according, accordingly claim a high status. Status depends on, on the study. Without study, no status. It is now the time of destruction for everyone. <clears throat> Those who have loving intellects at the time of destruction do not remember anyone except the father. And they are the ones who claim high status. Remembrance lead to the high status. This is called unlimited scholarship. You should race in this. This is a godly lottery. Firstly, there is remembrance in lottery. If you wanted to have a lottery, then firstly, remembrance and secondly you also have to imbibe divine virtues if you want to become kings and queens you also have to create subjects some create many subjects and others create fewer subjects are created by your doing service many subjects are created by your doing service at the museums and exhibitions etc you are studying at this time and you will then go into the Sun Dynasty and Moon Dynasty. This is the clan of you Brahmin. The father adds up the Brahmin clan and teaches them. The father says, what he says, I create one clan and two dynasties. Dynasties are the, fa the Sun Dynasty's emperor and empresses and the Moon Dynasty kings and queens. <coughs> They are called the double crown ones. Then the vicious kings come into existence and they do not have a crown of light. That is crown of purity. They build temples to those who vicious kings and queens who wear double crown and worship them. They bow down in front of the idols of those who were pure. Those things are, do not exist in the golden age. Those things that is worshipping, that is the pure one. There are no impure beings there. That is called the land of happiness, a voiceless world. Whereas this is called the vicious world. I was say not a single person is pure here. Totally tamopradhan, totally vicious world. Not a, you can say, single impure person will be there in the golden age or something. So Baba said, not a single being here is pure. Sannyasis leave their homes and families and run away. There is the example of King Gopichand. You know that no human beings can grant liberating or salvating to others. King Gopichand was, you can say, converted to Sannyasis. There is a big story of, you can say, Amarpal, that is fruit to become immortal. That is not possible. How to show the nectar? So they have given the name as Amarpal, that is fruit, immortal fruit. Okay, that is all the tall stories. I alone am the bestower of salvation for all. I come and make everyone pure. Some will become pure and go to the land of peace, and others will become pure and go to the land of happiness. So even purity, there is a difference between the purity. <clears throat> this is an impure land of sorrow in the golden age. There are no illnesses, etc. You were the masters of the land of happiness. Then in the kingdom of Ravan, you become the masters of the land of sorrow. The father says, what he says? You establish heaven every cycle by following my Srimad. Without Srimad, no establishment of heaven. You claim the kingdom of the new world and then become impure residents of hell. First heaven, then hell. The deities then become vicious and fall onto the 
path of sin. The father has come and given his full, is given his introduction to use with his children. What is that? I only come once. That the most auspicious conclusion is, I do not come in every age. Because every age he cannot come. I come at the confluence age of the cycle, not in every age. In confluence age of the cycle, that is auspicious confluence age between Iron Age and World and Golden Age and World. He is coming only at that time. Why do I come at the confluence of the cycles? Why? Because I change hell into heaven. The transformation is much of the world as well as human beings. So it's coming at that time. <clears throat> I come at, at, at the confluence age of the cycle, not in any, not in every age. Why do I come at the confluence of the cycle? Become because I change hell into heaven. I come every five thousand years. Some children write, Baba. I don't have any happiness or enthusiasm. See the answer of Baba. Baba said, oh, ho, the father is making you into the masters of the world. Do you not experience happiness on remembering such a father? It is because you don't remember him fully that you don't have happiness. You experience happiness by remembering your husband who makes you impure. Whereas you don't have happiness by remembering the father who makes you double crowned. You have become the father's children and yet you say that you don't have happiness. <clears throat> you don't have this full knowledge in your intellects. You don't remember me and this is why Maya deceives you. Baba explains to you children so well. He explains to you every cycle so well and every cycle because we forget every cycle. I make souls who have become those with stone intellects into those with divine intellects from human beings to deities. Only he can do that is the function of the Supreme God Father. Only the knowledgeful Father comes and gives you this knowledge. He is full of everything. He is the full of purity, full of love. He is the ocean of knowledge. See his praise. Full of purity, full of love, full of everything. He is the ocean of knowledge, ocean of happiness, and the ocean of love. You receive his inheritance from such a father. You cannot hear to, you come here to become like that, that is to become like Lakshmi and Narayan, not come without any purpose. However, all of those spiritual gatherings, etc., belong to the path of devotion. There is no question of knowledge there. There is no aim and objective there because it is not a study. It is simply gathering, nothing to do. This is called a Gita Patshala school. This is not a Patshala for the Vedas. You become Narayan from ordinary humans through this Gita. So not Veda, Ved, Parshala, it is a Gita Parshala. For many, many parts of the past India, there was Ved Parshalas. In Gita Parshala, to Baba, it is not a Ved Parshala. It would definitely be the father who makes you that. Human beings cannot make human beings into deities because human being can make human beings, cannot make elevated versions of human beings that is deities. The father repeatedly tells you children. What is telling children? Consider yourself to be souls. You are not bodies. Baba reminding. You can say so many times. Why? Because we are becoming body conscious. The soul says, I share a body and take another. So soul is immortal transferring the body, transforming the body from one body, transferring the body from one body to another body. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, <clears throat> love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada, the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children, love, remembrance, good morning and say namaste to the spiritual father. Meethe, meethe, sikala de bacho prati, maat pita bab dada ka. Yadvyar or good morning, 
रूहानी बाप की रूहानी बच्चों को नमस्ते हम रूहानी बच्चों की रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद प्यार गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते शुक्रिया बाबा शुक्रिया एसेंस फॉर धारणा नंबर वन जस्ट एस यू बाबा डज नॉट डजेंट हैव एनी पंप एंड कम एज द सर्वेंट टू टीच यू चिल्ड्रन सो नो एरोगेंस नो ईगो सो यूज आर ऑथोरिटीज लाइक द फादर एंड यू टू हैव टू रिमेन ईगो लेस authority doesn't mean ego what we are doing in this devotions people are doing become pure and do the service of enabling others to become pure point number 2 in order to claim a godly lottery at the time of destruction be one with loving intellect and raise to stay in remembrance and imbibe divine virtues so knowledge remembrance and imbibation of divine virtues without that we cannot become deities today's blessing may you be a powerful soul who is a powerful soul who feels safe and gives other the same experience we are safe under the canopy of shri baba and makes give others the same experience that is experience of safety under canopy of baba how by surrounding them with a pure thoughts so pure thoughts elevated thoughts then and then we can become pure otherwise not so bab explains a powerful soul he is one who finishes all waste in less than a second with the power of determination <clears throat> you have to recognize the power of pure thoughts a pure and powerful thoughts can perform many wonders simply have a determined thought and this determination will bring success so determination is very very important in thoughts surround everyone with pure thoughts and bind them with that with this in such a way that is with this pure thoughts in such a way that if any of them feels even a little weak their being surrounded in this way will become a canopy of protection a means of safety and a fortress for them so baba say create you can say pure thoughts slogan those who receive sustenance this study and shrimat three things sustain study and shrimat for an elevated life directly from god they have the most elevated fortune and we are that category who are getting you can say sustenance study and shrimat directly from god acha om shanti